This is Dr. Mamta. Welcome and good evening. The subject itself is self-illustrated. So, and hence, without taking time on what the seminar is going on to be, I wish to share a brief note on our speaker, present speaker, Dr. Pratima Khandel. Dr. Pratima Khandelwal is functioning as a professor and head teaching and learning center at Global Academy of Technology, Bangalore, since July 2018. TLC is an innovative unit crafted exclusively for strengthening teaching and learning process in present digital era. She's also the proprietor of Highfly, a company founded in 2019 in Bangalore and is dedicated to enhance capacities of teachers in today's Google era. It stands for increasing the usefulness of teaching and learning process in contemporary times. She renders advisory and facilitation role for equipping higher education institutions on outcome-based education. Dr. Pratima holds PhD in 2002 in food technology and process and food engineering from GP Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar. She is the recipient of VC gold medal and ICAR's JRF and SRF for her master's and doctoral programs, respectively. She carries rich experience of about 20 years in teaching and research BE in BE and MSc programs in biotechnology in institutions at Tupper Institute of uh, Institute at Patiala and in Bangalore under BU and BTU affiliated colleges and other colleges. Her key domain of teaching and research are food technology, product development, food safety, biosensors, and pedagogy for higher education. She has published over 30 national and international research papers, three book chapters with many conference presentations. She has guided doctoral scholars under VTU, Belagavi. She is the inventor of two patents, co-inventor of three institute file patents and co-discoverer of few no novel strains of useful mm -hmm. fungi along with PhD scholar. She is the founder member of SCS NET FF and is a reviewer on board of many international food diary journals. She is also a proponent of good health so good food habits and speaks on managing hidden hunger, especially in urban Indian youth. So with this, I welcome Dr. Pratima ma'am and I request Dr. Pratima ma'am to take over the session. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. I request I you to take Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mamta. So nice of you to you. invite me and uh, uh, tell about me in terms of my introduction. At it's the onset, I'm really uh, happy, I must say, that SVCE has, uh, the Department of Basic Sciences has thought about something beyond normal, beyond the normal teaching and learning. And that's exactly, we are in this forum and talking about what exactly are required 
things required during COVID and post-COVID phase, in particularly for the students community. I really welcome and thank uh, Mamta Madam, the colleagues who are Dr. Manjunatha, Dr. Krishna Reddy, and I'm sure other members from the same department, and the members from International Journal of Advanced Study and Research Work. In fact, it's a great opportunity to interact with them also in this forum. A hearty welcome to all the students, and I'm sure you are more than 300 plus, as I'm told, perhaps much more. So it's a great opportunity uh, to be here and really meet together under the banner of Essentials. And I'm sure students of first year, 2019-20 batch, that you are understanding how life is moving ahead. So there are some essentials which are really required to be known, to be seen. So let's take off what exactly we mean. And uh, can you please tell students, uh, you can write me in chat box whether the screen is visible to you. Madam, is the screen fine? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Ah, great. So students, please note, we are talking about something which is known as attitude, positivity, believing in self, and a lot of technical skills. This exactly is the session all about. So what we are trying to say is that how much are we geared up and how much are we able to do what we say that uh, can you take off in this time, which is so challenging. That exactly we'll try to see. So when I, I haven't said so, what I'm trying to say is that, please see, it's so important to understand what exactly a department is envisaging. I'm sure you are proud of your department, which is Department of Basic Science, and this whole session is by them for all of you. Guys, here I am working the Global Academy of Technology, and uh, we are based at Arar Nagar. And uh, this center, which I'm trying to uh, incubate the idea of teaching and learning, is all about how well in the tougher times or in the present times and in this disruptive era, we can enhance something which is known as capacity to teach and capacity to learn. And let me tell in the benefit of all the students, it's not that teachers only teach, we teachers also learn. So learning is for all. Learning is all is a constant phenomena and that exactly when we talk of TLC, we talk of how Digitech can be used and all. So I just tried to draft some learning outcomes for you. I'm sure you're investing this one hour. It's not your spending, but to me, you are investing one hour to your department. And right now your department is, has invited me to just share some thoughts. So it's very, very important role. I feel I'm trying to do for this one hour on, on behalf, in behalf of your department. Now, I really wish to tell you something that students are very, you know, students, please understand you are wealth in yourself. Please note you're not only wealth for your family, but you are wealthy, wealthy in terms of your abilities, but you are a wealth in yourself. You are a key resource. Kindly, this is the basic line which I try to talk to every time when I talk to students. In fact, or to teachers also. We all are wealth. We are wealthy or not, that's not important. But we ourselves are wealth. Please see, please take like that. Second, what I will try to address, as you will see by end of this hour, is what are the challenges and challenges bring opportunities. So what are the challenges and opportunities in the present COVID times? And certainly when COVID will, I'm sure you all are taking care, governments are trying their best, medical fraternity is trying its best. So there'll be some good news down the line, down the months. And when post COVID comes, how the world will evolve, how our country will grow. There are a lot of, lot of things happening, a lot of boardroom discussions happening. So I'll try to bring certain aspects to that. And finally, I'll wrap it up in skills. Skill is the word which will capture you. It will enhance your personality. It will define your role in the job in the better term careers. So I'll try to tell you how important it is to have good skills so that we are very capable in the career and we can do it. So please see that uh, once we know this learning outcomes, you are very, you please come feel comfortable in terms of what we are trying to teach to tell you. Well, as we go ahead, as we go ahead, I must tell you that one term which I often talk is you are important. You are important. So when I say that, what does it mean? You are important. Each child is important. When you are important, please note it students. Really you are important so that you understand your worth, you, you being as a wealth. It's our duty, the teachers community and your parents and the society to make you learn and earn. We don't get degrees, we earn degrees. And it's your prerogative to be happy and healthy. To be happy and healthy. 
Happiness is all about more of about mental capacities and healthiness or health is all about being physically fit. If you're eating good food, if you are taking care of your health, being physically fit, I'm sure you will be healthy. That exactly is trying to say. Now, I don't know you, how many of you believe that the life is changing. The life is changing and a life always changes. What is the difference in this COVID times and the post COVID? Life will change faster. The rate of change will be faster. That's something which I have to try to tell you. So life is changing. Please accept that time is growing. Time is changing also. And when that happens, we have to adapt to times. And when the, the, in the era of disruption, I'm sure you are knowing this word. In fact, school children are being told about the word disruption. Not, uh, not destruction, disruption. And that's important. So in the changing life, how important it is for you to understand the red letter word shown here, which is confidence. You need to be confident and confidence is something which will kill negativity, anxieties, worries, skepticism. You can just read the words, how beautifully this diagram and I thank Google images for that. How everything, doubt, worry, fear can be washed away with this term, which is confidence. So that exactly is there. I wish all of you have a paper and pen with you right now. And I must share something that uh, to move ahead, what one thing is required with confidence obviously is attitude attitude in a positive sense that if attitude is with you if you have the attitude which is actually the key to success the things are all fine the things are all fine so what is important to know is about attitude is what exactly is this attitude i was just thinking being engineering students of the various branches at svce i was wondering can i present you in a very simple fashion what is attitude and i thought this diagram and please see it is some total of two things. Yes, some total of two things. The first is how you think about yourself, how you think about life, how you think about your college, your department, your what things you are doing is all about your inner thoughts. Yes, inner thoughts. And what is all about the other aspect is what because of those inner thoughts and in the mind where feelings are there, those feelings will result in some of the thoughts and those thoughts are all about your expression. So what we express is our outlook, and what we share with ourselves is our inner thoughts. So please have good positive inner thoughts to have you better positive outlook. If you are very doubtful inside, you cannot be confident outside. You can please experiment. If you're always worried, you cannot be strong outside. So it's all about how you take yourself. Now there are students who are worried, what will happen to my degree? You know, guys, you are very lucky. The 1920 batch, you are the youngest in engineering right now. At this point of time, we are three years seniors for you. But you, when you graduate in 23, you will see the world is much different. And that exactly, I'm in this session, I'm trying to tell you what all you can do to clock the 2023 in a very simple, better fashion. That's exactly the two important words which you must write right now is approach and outlook. Approach and outlook. So please see, these two words will make the bigger circle which is in front of you, attitude. Attitude is your choice. If you have negative thoughts, out, attitude will not be positive. Happiness is also a choice. There are people who can be happy in the difficult times also. There are people, with, if they have not small thing also right, they are worried. That's exactly happening in COVID times. We have people who are much worried about their mental capacities. They are worried, they are going for counselors. We have people who are so confident at helping others. So happiness is a choice. And the last is a beautiful word. I hope you write it. Be optimistic, guys. Please be optimistic. Optimism is also a choice. So is pessimism. So your approach will define your attitude, happiness, and optimism. Outlook becomes much easier in that cases. Please note. Now, the, there are certain things constant in the life which go. There are certain things. Uh, sorry. Just a moment. Yes, I was here. There are certain things which are constant and these constants are in front of you. They are sincerity. Beat anybody, beat teachers, beat parents, beat you students, your friends, all should have sincerity to our work, our work. So what is important is, what is important is how much you, are, you can be trusted, how much you are committed, how much you are reliable. So please note, please note, that uh, it's important for you to know that sincerity, trust, optimism, reliability, 
all can are all four are very important so please see trust is something which others can believe you trust is something which but by virtue of which you believe others commitment i'm sure you have heard this word from your teachers be sincere be committed there is nothing which you cannot do it may take time but outcome is beautiful and yes it is particularly for adults young professionals the last blue letter blue column the word reliability by virtue of trust we become reliable and honesty you must be thinking what happened to this teacher what happened to this lady why she is talking about the qualities of human values right now let me take a one minute deviation from here i have shown a key in your bottom of right hand side of the screen it's so important that you understand that this key this key tells about life success life is not about only a job right now in covid time if we have the key to success is all about these four if you are sincere you will try to grow if you are just lethargic you will just wait and watch how the time is changing then let me adapt if you are trustworthy companies which are going to hire you or where you will be or entrepreneur it will be much easier and commitment is for everything in being in house we have to be committed being in hostel being in pg being in anywhere being in college being in office it's all about commitment so please note commitment is something which is coming out of internal efforts till until you pay efforts it's difficult guys please mind it so this key this particular i wish you can take a screenshot of this i am only telling you the reason being aict has launched the term which is human values so there is in fact one fdp also going on for the teachers in many parts of the country from 2nd to 6th may and you know we teachers are being taught how to inculcate these human values to you so can you please write this term hv in fact the word is uhv u stands for u stands for universal universal human values somewhere you write it somewhere you write it okay so please see what is the importance of this kindly see this so this is very very important for all of you and i'm sure you have seen the word which is honesty honesty will take everything uh, cheats after cheating we can't survive for long we may survive for some time and you have seen in exam also when you tend to cheat also you may score marks but you may not score knowledge and as we move further i'm going to tell you how important it is to move in terms of honesty especially in this time covid now i have a particular interest to show you in this slide uh, please see the words written in covid particularly you are in lockdown phase which is ending today tomorrow onwards things are little different but yes students stay at home only please see how important days are passing by for some we are trying to change time in fact i'm sure you know covid is corona virus disease covid in fact today we write covid as one word but it is a three three word so c o corona v i virus d disease so this disease has taught us humanity has been taught by covid world over i mean it humanity has been taught by this disease so please see the words which are helping us now are how much you are inspired for yourself for your family for your department for your college how much are you motivated how much are you ready to improve how important is this word this is for us also guys please don't this is only for students no not at all i'll be wrong in uh, branding this as only for students absolutely for us also so how much you can are inspired and you can inspire the thumbs up for the people who can inspire others how much you feel motivated to do something new to take some risks to try experiment to improve to be positive the underlining thing is positivity and if you have focus nobody can stop you it's a matter of time and the last word which industry looks forward as every year of your grad as you go up in your be degree you are in first year in second third fourth year the most important words will be creativity for you because other things machines are doing so i request all the students of first year at svce to be really thinking not copying records not copying answers but being creative i'm taking a pause that's intentional pause i'm trying to imagine are you understanding me and guys at this point of time the chat is open you can whatever questions you have i request your mamta ma'am is already here you can please ask the question if you have disagreement you can please pose it's it's very very good to disagree also sometimes if you have any uh, doubt you can please ask okay that the session is for you so that's something i wanted to say in between
So please note that these six points are very important to you. Now, if you have a paper and pen, I wish you come for a small activity right now that when our routine is changing, we are in, we are in COVID, we will come out, say, in a month, I wish really. The world is praying. The world is trying. And as we come out, as we come out, we please see that what important is the prospect of being in routine, what are we learning? So this is our, we have more time. We, we all will agree. We are not traveling. We are at home. We have access to technology, which is internet. So we have so many things which we can do without complaining that I'm homebound. I really mean it. Yeah, and I wish there are three question marks in this slide and three I have already answered. And there are three words beyond the honey web. So please see the first and foremost being positive is looking at the positive aspects. And I'm here, my, you can see the pointer and all about is opportunities. So what are the opportunities you are getting? You have more time, more scope of newness. Can you fill something which you feel in this, what you feel? What are the new things for you? What are the opportunities is bringing for you? If you can bring, great. So please write right now yourself and show to your teachers a little later. Show to your parents right today. You all are at home only, I'm sure. Uh, so please see, opportunity to me is I have huge time to try new things. And I have a, what I'm saying today, I will use this time. I will not kill time. I will not pass the time. See the words. These all are verbs. You know, the grammar verbs. Use, kill, spend, invest, what? Or, you know, just pass the time. It's up to you. So uh, my suggestion to you is please use time, invest. So please do this question mark for yourself. And I'm sure the previous slide spoke about creativity. So I'm sure you are to understanding in which sense I'm asking. This is for you guys. Please do for yourself. Take one minute, take a few seconds, and I'm sure many of you would have done. As we go down the web, which we're talking about challenges, we can't, we can't deny everything is not positive. But we have to be positive here. So what I'm trying to say, with opportunities, there are challenges. In fact, challenges are giving us new opportunities. So to me, the challenges is that whenever I am seeing the newspaper, I will be very honest, guys. Uh, you are the youth and you are today's, uh, we, uh, you know, your country's uh, tomorrow. How important you are, you please see. So it's about anxiety. Yes, we have anxiety. We means overall in the society. And to me, I am seeing there is uncertainty. So what do you feel? You may have some different feeling. You may have some uh, doubts. You may have some other fear or you may have some loss of something. So can you please write yourself what is your question mark in the paper with you? Please visit them. And both will lead to something which is outcomes. And you know, we are in engineering and we always talk of one thing, outcomes. Course outcome, program outcome, you know it very well, right? And then we have PSO and PEOs also in the higher level. Well, so as simple as a course, and today we have learning outcomes, which I have just drafted for you. So outcomes is to me, I have this first one I have written for myself. And as my question says, please remove the question marks and write for yourself. To me, the outcomes are new skills will be leading to new me. And the, another possibility could be people who are worried will be worried, worried people are the two outcomes I see. Please see what you feel. End of COVID lockdown, end of the whole pandemic, what we see ourselves as. So this slide, I really wish either as a screenshot or in a paper and pen, please try to do this. This is important for you. This will navigate you. If you feel opportunities are less and challenges more, then means you are worried guy. But as a young professional who is in making, if you feel opportunities are more and challenges are less, wow. Please pat your back. Please appreciate yourself. That's important. That's very important. So the answer to the discussion which we have had till now on attitude, on challenges, on opportunity, this is the best word. What is the word? Skill. Skill is something you acquire, you learn, you get it. Skill you can prove on the paper, but that paper or certificate has only limited life till until you can do by hand. So it's very, very important to have skill or skills. Skill is the buzzword, guys, now. There, there, is, there is so much to do. There is so much to learn. There is so much to understand. There, there's, including for us, we can always keep learning. And it's all about, it's all about this word skill. So you can be tra in training. You can have experience in, in, uh, in learning, in gaining knowledge, in getting the beautiful word competence. You can do anything except even writing. Content writing is a skill. Right. 
you are all in engineering so you must know your domain keywords anything which has to ability to do d o please write the small word ability to do anything is a skill there, there, is a, there are negative skills also you know suppose you are browsing wrong sites that's also a skill so please don't do that i'll come to that little later but this is all about positivity as engineering student what are the skills you feel you should have that's important to understand so please do that please be very positive on this aspect and as i take when i was thinking this morning when after speaking to your mamta ma'am we both were talking for, for some time and we just thought uh, i was just trying to understand because she has thought beautifully some uh, this session for you and i'm sure there are other sessions also going on so what was important is that it was something related to uh, your in what are all the skills which we can develop so when i thought a little deeper i have drafted this slide for you from various areas the first and foremost students is uh, the technical skills the domain specific and the multidisciplinary permit me to say the word you are in first year but you cannot remain suppose electrical engineering student cannot remain only in electrical engineering today we say iot ai programming are for all any branch of engineering you know not only in engineering non engineering students are being taught programming non engineering students are learning ai or internet of things so gear up gear up do, come out of only you please have that feeling that whenever you get a chance semester breaks 44 43 days are already over of our lockdown also i'm sure some of you would have done some courses or you are doing so that's the word domain your own branch and related or something very different today you know so engineering students are studying economics they are studying drawing they are studying uh, psychology or sociology because today the way covid has taught us only one branch one knowledge will not run alone so what is important what is important to know various ways of other things also today's covid solution is only possible from medical fraternity from genetics from biotechnology microbiology virologists which are number one in demand now epidemiologists mathematicians computer professionals electronics engineers electrical engineers certainly mechanical engineers you can imagine just one i narrated how many branches are involved in this that's the multidisciplinary approach so somebody i'm not saying you, every child should do all no not at all take in two to three areas which you feel you can uh, you can try to do you like so any skill of this nature is known as hard skill i'm sure your placement department in the coming years will teach you more about this but it's very good to thank your basic science department that you are being introduced little early only so hard skills which are nothing but knowledge based now i have written a word marks i have written a word it's so important for me to tell you many of the students especially in our country india and i'm sure you will not disagree this mistake even i have made and i honestly confess in front of all of you that when we have chased marks we have not worried about knowledge and we have lost a lot we got medals also we got certificates but it's not sure that we got knowledge especially in today's disruption era please chase knowledge i it just does not mean that marks are not important no marks are important i agree absolutely they are important so what is important when you chase knowledge marks are the by product you automatically get marks but when you only target marks there is no surety mind you please not confirmation that you also get knowledge so please take knowledge as a sole top view and bring marks as a by product you will enjoy you can please see let's talk once again to know whether you are comfortable in this or not take a one semester and see another important aspect young boys and girls is on soft skills this is something most ignored but valued very high as you progress so now also it is right when you ask questions you are using that same soft skills when it comes that is number one is communication both verbal and non verbal in fact this communication is such a vast subject we should talk it as a separate hour separately but i'm sure you know this word why non verbal i wanted to bring it in a uh, categorical fashion is that we all are very comfortable in writing answers in the book but when it comes to non verbal we ignore it you know we take it for granted right now i'm trying to talk to you and i'm sure you are able to see me on your screens also what all i'm trying to make is non verbal verbal i'm talking but i'm talking to you a lot by my eyes by my mush, movement of my body particularly my hands and i'm trying to look although we are just you know we are virtually present 
and we have to thank technology again just see this session is all because of technology and you know again certainly electricity is playing such a big role with it so please see though virtual but i'm trying to connect with you by my expressions you are able to connect with me i hope so by expressions that's the power it's a very very powerful tool non verbal in fact mba students are taught non verbal separately as a subject okay behavioral skills are some, something very important uh, articulation negotiation these words are known to you i'm sure why i wrote down the line which is end of sixth semester you will understand but what happens is that that time it becomes a little difficult three years of engineering gets over and we are destructured in a way but guys again you please thank your mamta ma'am who took the lead to make you know something beyond academics also and i always in my own classes of subject i always add these things that it is so important to know skills that's why we should have more presentation by students students asking questions they are coming on the board they are making a team they are doing video presentations right now we are trying at my institution we are doing that only how remotely students are making assignments together and stitching as a film and sending to us so there are so many ways to have wonderful skills and time management i need not say in fact i had one session at nptel only i think it was mid of last month and uh, you can please understand that how this is an important tool it's actually a skill it is which becomes a tool very very important term which has come for you is in the present covid times and certainly in post covid is team management ask your uh, ask your seniors many of them are not comfortable working in team my final years have told me that ma'am please make me in individual i'll do very good individually please don't give me a team because ma'am my friends are not listening i'm unable to gel well can you imagine the two important words in front of you which are coming are competition versus collaboration competition was competition still is an entrance exam of engineering medicine and xyz but what will run the industry now what is already running and post covid what will run is collaboration i narrated to you for solving the problems for uh, solving the problem of covid how important is collaboration from various branches so can you imagine how important is collaboration to be taught right away the next term is ei which is i'm sure actually if if we was a few i would have asked you to unmute yourself and tell nevertheless now also if you want you can un unmute and keep answering if you want can anybody expand me for ei anybody any anybody can write in chat box what is ei to you and actually hint is already there in the bracket but still can you tell me anybody okay i do uh, fine uh, if i can hear anybody it will be great but what is right now is uh, in terms of uh, fine i'll only tell looking at the uh, metrics of the current webinar ei stands for emotional intelligence yes intelligence of emotions you can understand this word was never spoken for engineering at all but now ei is in the basket you have to today people who are feeling positive not stressed not anxious are the people who have high ei or high emotional intelligence in fact all of you know the technical skills give you marks give you intelligent quotient and ability to understand self and others motivate yourself if you fail again come up bounce back what we say is all about emotional quotient so guys please build your ei from now 2023 when you graduate you should be strong enough to handle that and i was already narrating as i started universal human values from 2020 yes yes your juniors will be learning from very first year 2020 aict has started this course and the teachers are being trained all over india right now in may 2020 which has just started two days back so universal human values are very important for engineering it wasn't earlier this slide if you want you can take a screenshot please keep keep reminding yourself build further on it the gaps are there to build further this is not comprehensive at this point of time in fact in the student life these are very important as you become a professional you will have some changes in the list please do that now whenever we talk to students whenever we talk to excess of technology and uh, you know this gadget i i uh, right now i'm not take having my phone in hand the so called smartphone nobody uses a phone which is not a smartphone so let me add that we all have in fact i always tell students i have better phones than us and that's that's very good you know you are uh, you are digital natives and we are digital immigrants so certainly there is some difference and i am very 
I feel proud of all of you guys. But what happens is that we tend to miss, we may, you know, we may misuse, please accept, we overuse. So we have to do something related to technology less, less. If you're able to see my hand, the movement has to be down south. The graph should go y axis. And that is what it's all about how much distraction you are having through social media. If somebody is blogging in a positive way, wow. But if you're just checking, if you're waiting for likes and comments and all that, there's a distraction. Are we killing time, especially in the lockdown? Are we killing time? Are we waiting? When assignment will come, then I will do. Why should I study myself? Exams are so far off for me. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. This all is an attitude of killing time. And guys, please, with the bored body language, as a teacher uh, elsewhere, I'm, I'm really requesting you to use time. Never kill time. If our engineering graduates use, I'm passing my time. Please pinch yourself. Please. You Absolutely, this is not right to pass time at this age, guys. Please think about your counterparts who have no access to higher education. They had no college or they had no money or they had no opportunity. They could not go out, outside PU. Please think about that. So you are the people who have to make things enable in society for tomorrow. So please, the central word killing time should not be there. It's a cross. It should not be. And third word, I think all of you know, I need not say anything. The sixth letter word, gossip. Gossip is anything but killing time and bringing negative energy a lot, discussing about others negative at their back. So if you have to discuss negative, please speak on the face. That's very good. That's not at all gossip. That's a feedback. Action is same, but the situation is different. So I request our young professionals gear up for a beautiful world tomorrow. In post-COVID, when trust is being spoken, so gossip has no place. Gossip has been happening till now, and I'm sure you will see yourself. People who are away from gossip will be growing more in coming times. Now, we also have the people that they say that I can live without food, but not without internet. No, no, please see this, this line. It, it hurts quite a much, but that's absolutely not correct. We cannot be overly connected with phones. So what is the best way? Best way is to take the phone and keep it away, physically away from you. Now, see, for example, this pencil I'm keeping very close to me. In within moving anywhere, I can just lift it. So that is not the right way to keep phone always close to us. So even I have, I have made one day, no phone day. And I have told, yes, please try to everything, but we don't use phone that day, even in the working time. So please reduce that. Make yourself not always in the fingers or thumb. Okay, so please reduce it. If you are using more, if you are not, if you are not using more, again pat your back. And already negativity, I was telling you, negativity is something which kills a lot of things. So please be feel positive. Time is little challenging. Time is not bad. Time is never bad, by the way. Time is challenging. And strong people challenge the turn challenge to opportunity. I don't know. You are able to see me? Uh, yes, I think so. So please turn it. See how up? See, it is down. Make it up. Up is good. So please do that. And the last one, which I do see some students coming, particularly first year or in final year also, they have self-doubt. They, they, they feel low. In fact, I started my presentation only with one word. And I always do that, by the way. You are important. I don't know you have heard this term or not. Please, not only the choppers are important. No, no, not at all. Every child is important. Toppers are doing good, great, thumbs up for you. But doesn't mean you are more important than others. So please make it a point to understand that you are very important. This, let me show you by this, uh, this uh, pointer. Please, there is no position of which is known as self-doubt. No. If you have walk and talk, walk to somebody, talk. So it's a beautiful term I use, walk and talk. You can't keep doubting yourself and sit. You should not have low self-esteem. And one more thing, we may fail once, that's okay, but commit, uh, bounce back so that you don't lose esteem. It's important, it's important, fine? So very, very important is to see what is my own value. So what is the way forward as we uh, wrap it up in a few slides from now? What is the way forward? The way forward is uh, written here in front of you. Take a quick pen and paper and draw, draw for yourself. You should not take screenshot of this. You must draw with paper and pen. The reason being, Till until you know what you are. Now, some of you will laugh at me. What happened to this lady? Find yourself. Find doesn't mean physically. We all know you are in your home address. Finding is mentally here. How, how much I know? How much Pratima knows about herself? How much your Mamta ma'am knows about herself? How much Manjunath sir knows about himself? How much Reddy sir? All that. So how much we know about ourselves? 
and some of us who don't know you know what we say oh am i that good if somebody appreciates we say oh is it am i that good wow thank you ma'am thank you sir so you can always get a seal from your teachers and your parents and your elders and friends relatives but that seal should be on your own worth so find yourself as the first and i again thank google images for this beautiful i i was drawing an image and i got this slide see how lucky i was accept yourself guys many of us are not comfortable with ourselves we we tell i am not good he is good she is good i am not good sorry whatever you are accept yourself define yourself what i want to do define set goals define talk i want to be wonderful entrepreneur after 4 years or say after 2 years of working 23 i will graduate by 25 i will be an entrepreneur why not wow let's clap with such dreams create yourself what is creating not creating you have been created in nature creating in abilities in skills what we just spoke and then very very important oh my god i have to thank the the artist who has done the job for me i would have done myself also but i will not lie when i already got the creative slide the, the, the photograph i just took it and this word is so important express i have students who have done good job in paper i have same students who have not done in viva they say ma'am 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 you can cut marks even i have faced final year students saying that even in uh, interviews of uh, jobs ma'am no problem uh, i will can i please write and tell the answer now please tell only that an expression what about oral facial what about all these important so my dear students all the five verbs are here find accept define create express write it somewhere don't take screenshot i'm telling you second time on this write it here for yourself important okay so please keep on moving and you know this is applicable for me also right now it's applicable whole life not only for student life don't think this is way forward for all not only for students so uh, please i'm sure you understand uh, the word is new normal thanks to the prime minister of the nation who has given us this word the world is using now in uh, elsewhere also for their own site uh, new normal is the normal now the world will be never same so we have to accept it we have done as humanity we have done some mistakes so we have to accept it we have overused nature we are now also overusing some resources like water so it's important to be in a new normal so what are the new terminologies this is something you must note it the way you want you can note it please the first and the foremost is agile being agile adaptive very fast learning very fast is being agile you know uh, i it is just the, the latest word which i heard myself on 1st of may was agile teachers and i learned myself so now i will work on defining how a teacher can be agile if a teacher is agile students also will be agile because the time is of disruption i hope you know this not destruction sometimes I, i you know i i have a problem when i hear this word in other sense also it's a positive word disrupt disrupt doesn't mean the only in chemistry disruption it's disruption happening changes very fast something like exothermic reaction when it happens it's so fast changing the result that you get okay so i already spoke about attitude and behavioral they will be the new normal gone are the days when we spoke about only marks what grades what certificates the time is coming on attitude there are people in industry they say already a syllabus is redundant don't worry only have attitude to learn you please come and join us can you imagine 2018 i heard 2019 in this current year to i heard so much from the hr of the companies so we want positive attitude not sluggish not waiting when others will appreciate knowing yourself answering in the class asking question talking deliberating are all in terms of attitude please do that open to new learning and be innovative i think needless to say i always spoke very very important is green and sustainable anything which is not sustainable is of no use let's not spend energies there we can enjoy for some work and experiment but it will not be of much use so very very important is to be green green engineers not green color in fact i am wearing green intentionally today but this green is an attitude not in color how much how low carbon less carbon low resources less energy you use that's and this is the one homework i want to give, give you and it is on gig gig there is this this is a word it's not a full form gig economy gig economy india is already reached uh, starting we've already into this 
post covid you will see this word and again one more actually if i if you if you can write and tell me to be great what is vuka we are in vuka times post covid it is all the more vuka and i'm sure you can ask your teachers all of us know about vuka which is about volatility uncertainty t stands for complexity and a stands for ambiguity vuka v u c a so please note we are in vuka times and it will be going more post covid and i did speak about multidisciplinary this slide is the thing which is coming up which is coming up so more by 2023 all this will be when you graduate so please in this uh, six semesters to come have your body language resting on have your attitude in the mind resting on these terms please do that so uh, now i'm sure you can see the the summary if i want to draw of all the discussion which i have had with you is on only these gears two small gears will churn something and you will have is a bigger gear of success and what is the thing the right attitude the right blend of skills both should be right correct right whatever you want to say and a beautiful bigger gear which will see gears are for movement gears talk about energy gears talk about engineering so that exactly this diagram is trying to tell you it's all about the success it's all about the satisfaction in the agile times which is going to come now this is something a homework i often give in my sessions please take this homework please the way you want there are three colors boxes for all of us including me this is for me also for teachers also certainly for all of you the young students can you just read for a few seconds can you read for yourself yeah the green as you always know it's very nice this one of the university uses this i'm sure now by now many use and i was a learner when i picked up this so for academic purpose i often use this uh, when it is green you all know our signal you know traffic signal colors are used here no big deal at all the green is something in a good movement so every time particularly in this lockdown time every semester which is you are about to, uh, how many semesters to go six more to go for you every time use this what is that what is that that uh, uh, this week what did you learn this week what did you learn the first and foremost or this month right now you can do weekly because time is more <clears throat> so please make it a point what did you learn this is past tense what you already learned please see the word l e a r n t written not i am learning learning will come something in yellow so what you learned please write it and you will be so happy to see yourself you did this certification you did this mooc or you experimented or you studied before the teacher taught all are this or you did some life skills cooking is such an important life skill managing home managing clothes managing wardrobe are all important things so if it is all is part of learning and many of us think that we have our servants and you know already there is no servant also available now so we are more of doing ourselves so this is so important life skill everything the technical non technical soft skill anything you can write here but you must write something you the week cannot go without learning yellow is what you attempted see that's a beauty every time we cannot learn so we have yellow also you attempted on what all thing so that's in the process but sometime i tried but i failed what's wrong i tried na it's so good i tried simply sitting like this and saying no use is not good better to try so that's very because whenever we try we learn something and the red and the last is i could not do suddenly you saw some changes in your home or see when we were you know in, this happened with us calendar of events was launched much in uh, early uh, late january or early feb and this lockdown we were never anticipated and this happened so all the teachers all the departments all the institutes universities offices have read in the covid time that's okay a time will come post covid this red will become yellow or in fact many years will become directly green not exactly so please make use of this particular diagram for you it's a tool it's a take away of the session today please use this and you have no color you will have crayon of your somebody or you, you i'm sure you use some colors for your diagrams please use colors don't use only black and blue and show it no please use it and please record it it's a great thing with this i want to thank all of you thanks to the basic science department of svc to organize this show in terms of what exactly are essentials required in this present time of covid and non covid i wish this was a time where your department i am i really thought like that where your department has thinking so much that what it should give to the students and what more the department has collaborated with the international journal also 
to mark this event. So please make it of use. Please uh, learn something and please try to change positively is my messages. I have put my emails. You can write. I have also put my fly high LinkedIn, which I try to uh, network people with teachers in particular who are change makers. And I, I respect teachers a lot, not only because I am a teacher, but teachers are the actually nation builders, the change makers. And you know, we teach to all professions. So it's, we, we are very important. And yes, because we, without you, we are zero. So you are very important students. Once again, I'm saying you. These uh, pin boards, thank you, are the indicative that how important it is to keep noting something on our workbench, what to do. You remember we just discussed these three. So this also, this also have to be pin board like this. That's why I chose this thank you diagram for all of you. So please, I wish you do that. And as we wrap up, I have to say only some words which are think, do, and be positive. Yes, think positive, do positive, and be positive. Because this green smiley is will be the lead in the life, especially in post-COVID. We have less space for the people who take tension and stress and are dull. We have less people who are neither positive nor negative, but we have huge scope for the people who are green, who are positive. That's it. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mamta. I have to thank you in particular for your thoughtful ways you think for your students. You are a wonderful HLD. Thank you. And thank I'm you. sure you're in Dr. Yeah. Reddy, Mr. Manjunatha, and I'm sure many more. I'm sure all of you are making your first Science years very really capable. Thank you. Thank you to SVC, Basic Science Department. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot for the session. And uh, it is organized by uh, completely Basic Science Department of SVC. Yes. And uh, with our uh, faculty, cooperation, everything. I, I was able to do actually. So, uh -huh. uh, thanks a lot. It was a wonderful session.